Hello everybody and welcome to Unstoppable Bonus Gaming guys. Today we're going to be talking about a brand new Pokemon game, one that I'm actually creating myself. But before we go on the video guys, I want you all to know that this is an idea that I got from one of my friends I made a video with a while back. His name is Ruffled Rowlett. You guys can click on his channel in the link down below in the description. Um, that is pretty cool if you go check out his channel and give him some love because his channel is growing pretty fast, 11,000 subscribers already. So guys, go check him out. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about the game as you guys can see here. We have three Pokemon. Um, this game is going to be a 3D Pokemon game, of course, um, by my design. I have models of almost every single Pokemon through Gen 6. Alright, so the problem is I'm, I'm pretty good at 3D modeling and getting things to work and uh, making things look awesome. The only problem about this game is, is that I'm not very good at coding, so making the game work like a Pokemon game is going to be a big problem for me because I'm, I need, really need someone to help me on here. So if you guys actually know anyone uh, that can do any coding or anything like that for free, I can't really pay anyone. Um, I can try my best to uh, help someone, but this game is also, uh, I need to say that this game is non-affiliated with Nintendo. This is just a fan-made game that I'm creating myself. Um, it is nowhere even related to Nintendo or Game Freak or just Pokemon. It's just a game just a game I'm making myself. So if you guys know any other coders that can uh, help out and just do a little bit of things, you don't have to do anything big, just help me out a little bit. That would be awesome. Um, so I appreciate that. Um, but right now... This city is what I've got so far. Um, in the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys like the first couple of places where you can catch Pokemon in my thing. I'm currently working on those right now as I'm uh, this video is being put up on YouTube. So be looking out for those videos later, like next week probably. Um, one more thing we need to talk about on this game is like it's 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 just uh, it's really in development. So I'm really looking for you guys to leave comments down below suggesting what I should do with the game. Um, a lot of you guys can leave comments uh, telling me what to put for like the name of the city. Some of you guys can leave me comments telling me what to put, like what kind of Pokemon to put, what starter Pokemon we should choose. So just tell me anything you think would be awesome in the game because I really want to make this game like one of the best Pokemon fan made games out there. And without you guys helping, it's, it's going to be uh, a little tough. So if you have any awesome ideas, don't be afraid to share them. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, show this video to your friends so they can see if they want to see them awesome. So if you guys do want to invest some time into this, just leave a comment down below. If you guys think you can help, uh, I'm not going to be afraid to let anybody help. Because I, th I think it, it should be fair. It should be a fun game. We can do this. Like it's a game we can make with the channel. with our, It's like a little Unstoppable Gaming family channel. Um, where we can make a game together. Which would be pretty awesome. So if you guys want to help, leave a comment down below. And let's go ahead and talk about some of the other features that I have in the game. Alright, so far I have a building designated for uh, gems, and I like this first town to be like a steel type kind of gem. Um, like that's kind of weird, never before done, but I think it'd be a cool thing to have like the first gem. It's a steel type gem, you guys can see here. This first building is like a gray building with like a, a neon sign on front of it. That's going to be the gem of the town. I think it's a, it's a pretty cool place to like put a gem and stuff. Um, also, the Pokemon Centers and Pokemarts have not, I've not really um, designated like buildings for those yet. I just kind of built a city and I'm looking for a place to put a Pokemon Center and a place to put a Pokemon Mart. Um, I don't really have any crazy models that really stand out to me as a Pokemon City or Pokemon Mart. Um, I think, I think I'll have that done before the next video. This is going to be up. I kind of want to get those done pretty fast. Um, I also need uh, to get some NPCs put in the game. Like, they, they can just walk around and stuff and learn how to um, create like text speech and stuff for those guys so you can talk to them and things like that because as this game progresses I want to be able to release every um, like update and demo and stuff so you guys can always play it give some feedback um, Tell me what you guys think about the game. I, I really had really good fun like uh, customizing the world and building the world That's like my favorite thing to do in the in, in this right here as you guys can see it's a, it's a it's a pretty cool thing pretty fun to do uh, the art style was pretty unique like it's kind of cartoonish but not cartoonish uh, same time kind of like Cartoon realistic. I'm trying to go in, uh, kind of trying to do the vibe of the Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD kind of thing, um, but with its own little story, like a, just a, an original Pokemon story. Um, so that's that's all I gotta say about that. I really appreciate you guys for being here. That's all for today's video. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. Remember, guys, just say whatever you want to say about the game down below. If it looks stupid, just tell me it looks stupid. It's fine. Um, any feedback is gonna help. Anything you can say is gonna look awesome. So. Uh, without further ado, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you all for watching.